I am Nitesh Pradham from LabVIEW Programming. Now I am coming with the one new video series, LabVIEW Signal Processing. Okay. In this series, we will learn, okay, and discuss how can we perform the signal processing lab course using the LabVIEW. Okay. In this course, you will learn how can you use the your signal processing idea logics and uh, concepts okay using the lab view and you will learn how can you perform the practicals so i am going to show you some uh, i am going to present this powerpoint in front of you to just demonstrate what we will learn in the in our this uh, signal processing video series so first we will learn about this background okay lesson 1 then we'll learn about the signal generation signal processing windowing measurement and digital filtering okay so in this first lesson the lesson name is background in this background you will learn about the linear graph and logarithmic based graph so for that we will design this kind of vi okay second then we'll discuss about it then in the next session in signal generation we will discuss about the difference between okay sine wave and sine pattern square wave and square patterns we will discuss about the digital frequency analog frequency sampling frequency and all okay in this concept you will learn how can we write a okay how can we write a program for the for the frequency normalizations first then after that we will learn what is the difference between uh, wave and patterns means sine wave vi sine wave vi and sine pattern vi okay so for that we will discuss and after that we will discuss about the aliasing okay after that we will discuss about the aliasing now in the unit number 3 in the signal processing we will learn about the dtft discrete fourier transform fast fourier transform okay and we will learn how can we create a frequency spacing and symmetry city using the dtft sorry dft and fft so for that you will uh, using this uh, experiment you will learn how can okay you perform your uh, theoretical logic like this one or the upper one okay how can we convert this logic into the this kind of vi then we will learn this fft real time fft okay then after we will learn one sided fft i have designed all those experiment i will develop in front of you to teach okay then we'll see this single sided fft okay after that we will try to design the power spectrum with the fft okay power spectrum and fft so this one will be the that vi which we will design now after that we will discuss about some important concepts in the unit number four in the windowing we'll see what okay what is the concept of windowing without windowed non-windowing and uh, with windowing we'll try to check the our frequency try to check our signals with the windows and with non-windowed concepts and we'll try to plot the spectrum okay power spectrum density for the window signal and non window signal okay after that the uh, next in the lesson number 5th uh, we'll discuss about the measurement in this measurement we will learn how can we uh, plot the frequency spectrum concepts for this kind of the multi tone signal okay and non window signal also and how can we design that multi tone signal for us okay i will teach you how can we plot the multi tone signal and so many other things i will teach you okay in the signal processing then <coughs> coherent gain uh, concept we will learn and the noise uh, equivalent noise okay bandwidth we will discuss and we will try to plot the concept uh, vi and try to plot the vis and check the outputs okay so to learn about the current gain and equivalent noise we will uh, write 
this vi in the next we will discuss about the harmonic distortions okay we will write the code for this one and we will try, uh, try to add the different kind of the noises like white noise uniform sorry gaussian noise okay then we will use the harmony uh, we will use the filters to uh, so not filters we will uh, analysis we will write a program to analysis that harmonic distortions and we will try to calculate that using this kind of the vi's i had de developed this vi from my okay as for the my knowledge you can edit and you can improve the concepts now after that there will be some frequency uh, fundamental concept we will learn about this coherent um, uh, sorry this uh, noise and the windows okay then digital filtering after that we will discuss about the digital filtering in this digital filtering in this digital filtering we will see low pass high pass band pass and band stop we will learn about the okay high pass uh, that frequency range and others we will learn about the aliasing aliasing concepts and the filtering concepts okay we will discuss about the ideal and non ideal filters then we'll try to rein this kind of filters to filter the data samples that consist of both high uh, frequency and sinusoidal sine wave form then after we will discuss um, the concept about the frequency response characteristics of uh, for the various rf filters okay there are different different kind of the filters we will use these filters to rein our concepts okay same and chevy shape filters elliptic filters uh butterworth filters okay as per the well, now after that we'll discuss about the tra transient response ir f okay fir finite impulse response and infinite impulse response we will discuss about that okay we will design this kind of complete st structure of bi uh, we will do the FFT, DTFT, then we will apply different kind of filters, okay, to complete our concepts. So this will be really complete our, then uh, we will discuss some uh, concept for the signal manipulations also. Mm, I will uh, show you how can we, uh, what, okay, what kind of output will come when we, we, we try to add two different kind of signals, two different kind of the, okay, we will learn all those things and we will conclude this concept, su signal subtraction, signal multiplication, signal uh manipulations additions okay different different kind of concept we will try to learn and then we will try to add the noises and we will see so it will be a complete concept for uh, my upcoming signal processing web series sorry signal processing series okay video series so if you like so definitely you can participate and you can uh, by writing this code you can improve and enhance your uh, knowledge so thank you uh, from today, I will start posting videos related to the this signal processing series. Thank you for watching.